Hello, I'm Liviu Balan and today I will speak about git diff command. So let's get started. First, as you can see here, if I type ls minus al, I'm having a current working directory empty. First thing that I want to do is to create a new file named file1.txt and inside of it I will put the text text-1. In order to do this, I will type echo text1 and then greater than file1.txt. Hit enter and then I will repeat the process and instead of 1, I will use 2. So I will write text2 inside of file2.txt. Hit enter again and now if I type git status, I see that no uh, uh, repository is defined here. In order to create an empty git repository, I will type git init. Now, uh, this function initializes an empty git repository, and if I type git status, I will see that uh, all the files inside of this uh, current working directory are untracked. Now, what I want to do is to add all the files here by using git add dot and then I will uh, use uh, git commit and then minus m and then add files which is the commit message hit enter and now if I type git status I will see uh, that no changes are made on the branch master which is the current branch that I'm working on right now. Okay, the next step that I want to do is to uh, create another file, uh, file3.txt, uh, inside of which I will write text3. Uh, then uh, I will replace the content inside of file2.txt with uh, text to v2. I will hit the enter button and then I will type git status. As you can see, a new file, file3, is untracked and file2 is modified. Uh, okay, uh, now uh, <coughs> if I type git div I am able to see the changes because between my uh, I will I will be able to see the changes between commits between uh, working directory and the repository directory. And as you can see, what the git uh, diff command is showing me here is that for the modified file, which is uh, file to the txt. The modification are file are uh, text two were removed and replaced with text two b two. Even the difference between the um, changes is only the v two. Git is showing me the modification on the line level. So, if you modify something on a git, uh, which is in uh, on a git uh, file, uh, git will show you the modification on the line level. Uh, okay, mm, now if I type git status again and if I add uh, the comment, the mo modification that I will, uh, that I've just done, now if I type git status, uh, the files, the file modified, uh, is uh, on the stage level. Now if I type git diff, you will see no modifications between because by default when you type git diff, uh, the modifications are between the working directory and the repository directory. In order to uh, display the diff between the 
staging directory and the repository directory, what I have to do is to type git div dash dash state. Now I am able to see the modifications uh, between the stage directory and the uh, repository directory. Now, if I add file 3, for example, and type uh, git diff staged again, this command will show me all the files and modifications inside of these files. Uh, a synonym for stage is cached. So if I use git diff dash dash cached, uh, I will see the same output again. Now, if I type git status and if I want to see the modification, the modifications on a specific file, all I have to do is to type git diff dash dash cached and then specify the file. For example, file2.txt. Hit enter and now I am able to see uh, the changes only on file2.txt. Uh, okay, another useful feature is to use the color words option. By default, when I type uh, git um, diff dash dash uh, staged, you will see that the modifications, uh, the changes are shown like this one. Now, if I use uh, color words, uh, you will see that the modifications are shown like this one. So uh, instead of showing you what you've removed and what you've added, you will see the modifications only on one line and uh, Git will use a different color scheme here. Uh, if you want to see all the options that git div uh, is providing to you, you can type man git dash div and hit enter. This will show you the git manual page and here you will be able to see all the options that this command is providing you. So this is how uh, git div works. If you want to learn more about Git, about web technologies, you can check out my tutorials on YouTube and also visit my website livyubalan.com. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.